So today I want to show you a fun module from the DocB collection that will let you switch between the presets of a module with CV. Here, for example, I have the M verb also from the DocB collection. If we look at the preset menu, right, right click presets, you can see we have many different factory presets available. So now all I have to do is bring it closer to the preset module. Right, and then I can go into the factory folder here and then I can choose between the different factory presets without uh, having to go into the menu and I can also control this with CV which is quite interesting. So let's really have a look at a few examples. Okay, so here I have a sequence again with the ASEC sequencer and the oscillator one again from the same collection. Basically this is going through a filter with some modulation and delay to sound like this. Right, and now again, this oscillator has a few factory presets and here you can see them also and I can switch between them. Right, and I can also use, for example, another sequencer, another ASEC to sequence them. So all I have to do is send this to the CV input. Right, and now I have a sequencer sequencing the factory presets in this case. And of course, this is also possible with presets you save yourselves. Right, so for example, here I have the Twist VCO being sequenced by another sequencer here from the DocB collection. And I saved a few presets. So all you have to do is go to the preset and save as. And as you can see, I have here five user presets. So if I go to the user factory here, you can see I have five of them. And in this case, I'm using sample and hold or a random voltage to switch between them. Right, so you can see it will switch between the engines and the octaves also sometimes. Right, let me mute this for a second. Right, so like this, if you have your own preset saved or if you just want to save presets and switch between them, you can do this also with this module. I will just add a nice uh, bass here. I have here the phrase sequencer sequencing the classic VCO. There is also a sub bass here involved. Of course, this can be also quite interesting with percussive sounds. So for example, the Tremor FM from Vult has some interesting factory presets, right? And again, I'm using uh, the ASEC to switch between them. Let me just unmute this for a second. Right, and now all I have to do is click the dice here. Let me go here. I'll click the dice so it will generate a new sequence until I find something that I like. This is really nice. Right, I have it going also to a delay to Prince of Perception here. So let me unmute this. Right, so like this you can um, create all sorts of sequences until you find something you like. And again, this will switch between the presets. In this case, the factory presets. I have here also the cowbell module from Denti. This one here, it looks quite fun. Um, right, also here there are a few factory presets that I'm switching with the ASEC. Right, again, just hitting dice until I find something that I like. Then this is also going, by the way, to a gated reverb here with Plateau. Of course, I have also a kick drum with the ASEC and a drum module also from Doc B, some wave shaping, some delay with tap dancer. And I have here also a bass in this case with the braids or the macro oscillator. Right, and I have a few presets saved here. Right, you can have also folders inside. So I have four presets again, switching between them in this case with the sequencer, this M851. 
right with side chaining with another sub oscillator some distortion And this will work also really nicely with sequencers. So here I have, for example, the eight step sequencer from Count Modula. Right, again, I saved a few, a few presets here. As you can see, five different variations. This will sequence a um, kick all here from the FACO with some delay. And I'm using the ADDR sequencer just to sequence the presets and load the different presets that I saved. It will sound like this. Right, so there is some variation. Even with a simple eight step sequencer, we can have some variation with the presets. I have here also some drums. I'm using here the topograph sequencer from Veli and a few drum modules, again, from the same collection. And again, the ADDR to switch between the presets that I saved. So there's a kick, a snare and hi-hats. So like this, it will switch between different settings of the sequencer and will create and add um, variation and movement. I have here also a bass, again with kick all and a nice chain, some chorus, distortion, right, a delay. And I have a few um, presets saved here on the ASAC, right, and again I'm using another ADDR to switch between them. quickly show you an alternative to this module and that's 8-phase from Sturmelder. This one will save snapshots that you can then sequence between, right? So if I run here the sequencer, I have here one sequence. I can in the right click menu bind the module, bind the sec3, right? And then for example, I can write, I just click right, right? And this will uh, save this and then I change this a bit. Right, let's say something like this and write the second one, right? And then if I go to read, I can switch between them, right? Between the different states of the sequencer. This can be also with CV, of course. Right, but again, these are not presets. These are sorts of uh, snapshots, if you will, right? Unlike the preset module that will work with presets that you actually save or factory presets that you can then load also in different uh, patches. So if you have like a sound design session and you save lots of presets and then you want to switch between them, you can just use the preset module. So again, it will work a bit differently. And um, But that was it for now. I hope you will explore the different possibilities with this module. Thank you for watching. Cheers.